Hey guys, I got a crazy one today. Mr. Game Tech 7592 suggested I do a USB C barrel jack conversion. So it's your fault. I didn't think it was going to work, but then after doing some looking around, I thought, well, hey. Let's give it a try. All right, I got this USB-C adapter. It's just a few bucks on Amazon. We are going to have fun with this. I also have this old cord I chopped off of something. I wasn't using it anymore. So I'm just gonna solder this onto here because I don't want to solder this to the board or any wires or anything. I just want to be able to slide this right into the power and test it out. All right, let me get this my solder here. Get some flux. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get my board holder. So when I solder this, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right, flip this around. All right, um, get my flux. Flux is always your friend. Okay, I got my solder here. Got my soldering iron. All right, I'm gonna prep these pads here. Here we go. Now I forgot to look which side was positive. Okay, right side is positive. Try to do it like this. Get max maximum contact there. Need some more solder. But... Here we go. solder on my soldering iron here and all righty go ahead and trim the excess wire off here short sure looks a little more pretty All right, let's move this out of the way. Get my solder out of the way. Now, let me grab All right, and I got my power brick here. 
Now this is a laptop charger. You don't want to use anything else besides a, a uh, laptop charger because anything else won't provide the right voltage and it won't have enough power. All right, then I get my multimeter. Hmm, let me see, how can I do this? All right, let's test for power before we plug it in so we don't break anything. Perfect, 20 volts, just what we need. All right, move this out of the way. Let me, uh, let me unplug this. Raise it up here, grab the miner. Let's see. Um, stick something underneath. Um, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit so you guys can see. better. Uh, all right, there we go. All right, I got my plug here. Slide in there like that. I want to get my Ethernet cord plugged in here. There we go. All right. Here goes nothing. All right. Let's see movie around here but see it's on it's doing something the test is is when it goes full power what will happen I'm gonna get my thermal camera turned on all right we are up and hashing says 240 giga hash right now it's just starting up let's switch over to my thermal camera here check out the temperature it's getting pretty hot I don't know if this is gonna work I mean, the whole thing is hot, so the thing gets super hot. I wonder what the thermal throttle is on this uh, little chip on here. Maybe it doesn't have one. Maybe it'll just catch on fire. That'll be fun, won't it? I'll let it go for a little bit here and we will see what it's looking like. All right, it's been almost 20 minutes. 200 and I mean 410 giga hash. Switch over to my thermal camera here. Man, 
That thing gets hot. It's crazy. Red Panda, this is the one you want to cook an egg on. All right, so we're sitting right at almost 70 degrees on that plug. That's about where it was last time I checked it. Seems to be steady right there. Definitely on the hot side, it's on the maximum side, but it's working. So now we know you can power a KS0 with a USB-C. Now I wouldn't recommend it, and I'm certainly not gonna run it long term. Just kind of a fun project. And just a disclaimer, don't use a regular USB-C. You have to use a charging one. Don't try this at home, that's all I can say. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.